This is the first question in our discussion on P5 problem sums involving fractions. Let us start by reading the question. Mr. Raja has a sum of money. He spends 182 of it on the entrance fees for his family to a theme park and two fifths of the remainder on food. After that, he had one sixth of his money left. How much money did he have at first? After reading the first question, the first step is to identify the keywords in this question. The first set of keywords inform us that he spent 182 for the entrance fees to a theme park. The next set of keywords indicates to us that he spent two fifths of the remainder on food. The third set of keywords tells us that after spending the entrance fee on the theme park, and on food, he had one sixth of his money left. And the question is asking us, how much money did he have at first? After we identify all the keywords in this question, the next thing to do is to turn these keywords into information like models. So the first set of keywords tells us that he spent $182 for the entrance fee to a theme park. So we simply draw a bar model and indicate 182 spent on theme park. The next set of keywords is over here. From this set of keywords, we know that the remainder can be divided into five units. Therefore, we will draw a model with five units over here. And two fifths of this remainder was spent on food. Therefore, we highlight these two units over here and we indicate that these two units were spent on food. The last set of keywords inform us that he had one sixth of his money left. That means these three units over here is equals to one sixth of his entire sum of money. From here, we can tell that one sixth of his money is actually equals to three units over here. Therefore, if we want to find his entire sum of money, which is 6 out of 6, we simply multiply 3 units by 6. And this will give us 18 units. So let's look at the model over here. His entire sum of money is equivalent to 18 units. The remainder, after he spent on the theme park, there are 5 units over here. Therefore, if we subtract these 5 units from 18, we will be able to see that the amount he spent on theme parks is equivalent to 13 units. This 13 units, as we can see, is equals to $182. The next step is to find the value of one unit. So if 13 units is equals to 182, one unit will be equals to $182 divided by 13. And this will give us $14. So now we are ready to answer the question, how much money did he have at first? So we know that his entire sum of money is equivalent to 18 units. Therefore, his total sum of money will be equal to $14, which is the value of one unit multiplied by 18. And this will give us a total of $252. So let's recall what did we do. First, we highlighted the keywords, then we transform it into useful information over here, which is the set of model. And then from here, we use this model to help us to work out all the important information which will arrive, help us to arrive at the answers over here. So let's proceed now to the next question.